Okay, let's try that again. Uh, sorry about that. I got a notification and then it just took me right out of the live broadcast. So broadcasting from my phone, um, cause uh, we're kind of weak signal as is. So we're just gonna go Facebook only for now. But um, so yeah, sorry about that. Got disconnected there for a moment. But uh, good news, we're all smiles now. Um, we, uh, hello from Canadagua. Hey, hello from Canadagua. Um, yeah, we're in we're in good shape now. We got uh, uh, we got a signal from the backup GPS. So the primary radio system it worked for a good hour and forty five minutes, and then I don't know what happened. It just it started flaking out. It was it was still kind of working. Like we were getting partial signals, but just no not enough where we were getting GPS information, which basically is no good. So. Uh, so we had to wait for about an hour and a half to see uh, see what would happen, and uh, we got the got the backup signal. The backup GPS landed, kicked on, and we are way off. We are not even close to where it's landed. Uh, we're like 45 minutes away from where it landed. Uh, I mean, yes and no. We're technically 12 miles from where it landed as the crow flies, but we're on the wrong side of Seneca Lake. We're on the west side of Seneca Lake. It landed on the east side of Seneca Lake. Uh, connection is weak. All right. Well, apologies if this is uh, breaking up a little bit, but just wanted to get an update out there so that uh, so that everybody knew what was going on. Um, so there we go. Connection's a little better now, I think. Um, so, yeah, we were north of Penyan where we were expecting the landing. Uh, we were actually, I mean, the predictions put the landing, like, um, near, um, what am I thinking of, Rushville. Rushville to Clifton Springs, somewhere in that region. Um, this is not any, this didn't show up anywhere on our predictions, this landing spot. Uh, yeah, so we're we're on the west side of Seneca Lake and it landed on the east side of Seneca Lake. So now we gotta drive up and over the north end um, and try to get to it before it gets dark. Uh, that's going to be the trick, is getting to it before it gets dark, because uh, sunset is in about 15 minutes, and we are still uh, four, or about 35 minutes away. So, probably going to be getting pretty dark by the time we get there. Um, so, we're going to have to see see what kind of shape we're in. Uh, sun's getting pretty low in the sky. There's a sun way out there. Oh, I can't see it now. Um, so yeah, we're, we're headed, oh, I'm getting, I'm getting really bad signal now here, so I'll try to wrap this up quick, and then we'll do another one once we get there, but we're, our ETA is, uh, a little after nine o'clock, uh, we should get to the landing site, it's, uh, in the Romulus area, right on the eastern edge of the Romulus Army Depot, hopefully we can get in there, I don't know, I don't know how that works, uh, but we'll find out, it's right on the edge, so hopefully it's somewhere close, it, it is in some... It's in a wooded area. Um, it's basically in the middle of some trees, uh, according to the backup GPS. So there's a chance we could have a tree landing. Uh, hopefully, it's not too high up. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, we'll have to see where it is and see if we can get it down. So. Turn right on Road. So yeah, we are uh, we are headed to uh, to the Romulus area. It was only 12 miles from where we were. Uh, but we just have to drive up and over the north end of the lake, which is going to take forever. So we're kind of we're driving north so that we can go to the other side. Um, so a little after nine, we're going to get there, and then uh, we'll see what kind of shape we're in. So good news is we know right where it is, and uh, we're going to we're going to go get it or try to. Hopefully, it's not in a hundred foot tall tree. Okay. <laughs> All right. We'll talk to everybody soon. Uh, thanks for following, and uh, I'll post an update probably a uh, little after a little after nine o'clock uh, if I got good mobile reception I'll even do a live video uh, while we're headed up to it so um, so look uh, right around uh, 10 after nine we should have a, have another uh, another live video coming as long as I got good mobile data reception so good luck guys thanks uh, Caprina I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly um, but Thanks for the thanks for the good wishes. Thanks for following along. Hey, look for the lost payload from that earlier flight while you're in that region. <laughs> oh yeah, I don't think that that, that was Overlook Horizon One. Uh, that one we lost signal over the 
Romulus Army Depot, but it was still like 30,000 feet in the air. Um, so I don't think it landed there. But uh, but we'll look around and see if it got shot down. Maybe this one got shot down because I don't know how it got there. It was a, there was none of our predictions had a landing in this area even show up. So I don't know how it got there. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping that we got some good data on board the with the onboard computer, so at least we can see the flight path that it took because it it was not supposed to land here. So I don't know what happened. In 3.9 um, miles. But we'll see. Uh, New York 96A. Hopefully we should have some good camera footage because um, we're still well within the camera battery uh, uh, limitations or capacity. That's the word I'm looking for. So we should have some good camera camera footage. Um, but the, the real trick now is uh, go head over to that wooded area and see uh, see if it's in a tree and if it is, how high up. Um, so just got to drive up and over the north end of the lake and uh, head over to it. So we're headed to uh, the eastern edge of the Romulus Army Depot. Um, not going to get there for another uh, half an hour. About 10 after 9 we'll get there. I missed it. Where did it land? Oh, hey, Jason. Um, backup GPS kicked in, and uh, we found it. Uh, it's on the eastern side of Seneca Lake. Did Nowhere in any of our predictions did this landing zone ever come up. Um, so, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but, yeah, we're on the eastern edge of the Seneca Army Depot in Romulus. So... It, we were only about 12 miles away from where it landed, where we were camped out looking for it. We were kind of looking in the sky, trying to see if we could see it. It it was almost directly east of us, and so it would have passed right over our heads, but we still didn't see it. Uh, it was probably too high up. It was probably still like 30,000 feet when it went over us. Um, but uh, now we're in Geneva now. We're going to loop over the north end of the lake, head down the east side of the lake, and uh, head over to Romulus. Um, so the, uh, the landing location, I posted a picture of it, so after you're done, uh, if you're watching the live broadcast, check out the Facebook page or our, our Twitter page. I posted a photo of what, where the landing location was, um, so you can, you can visualize it. Uh, but it's on the eastern edge of the Seneca Army Depot in Romulus. So it's in a wooded area, uh, trees around, it's like right dead center in a pack of trees. So uh, we're going to have to see if it's caught in a tree. Uh, I mean, likely the chance of it getting through the, a pack of trees is probably pretty low, and I'd be super impressed if it made it to the ground and didn't snag on a tree. Um, so my thought really is more: uh, if it's snagged in a tree, how high is it? Uh, you know, hoping that it's within reach of some sort. So, so this might be our first tree landing. Stand on my shoulders. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about as high as we're going to... Of course, we didn't bring the ladder today because the, none of the predictions had it going anywhere this far. And we also figured, like, we were going to land within 20 miles of Canadagua, so we could always just go back to Canadagua and get the ladder. But, of course, it landed way farther away than any of our predictions said it would. So, so we don't have a ladder with us today. Uh, but we can always go get one. You know, the good news is if it's caught in a tree and we can't get it, the likelihood of somebody coming along and stealing it is pretty low. So there's always a chance that we could go home, get the ladder, come back tomorrow if we have to. Um, probably not tonight because it's going to be dark, but, um, but we're going to go try to recover it and see what kind of shape it's in. See if we can get that uh, that footage off of it and see if we can figure out what happened. Why? How did it, how did it land here? Um, so... I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but anyways, uh, we got about half an hour to go before we get there. Uh, kind of crazy. It's taking us 45 minutes to drive to get to uh, the landing location, which was 12 miles away as the crow flies. But the old uh, Seneca Lake was kind of in the way. It didn't bring the underwater vehicle. So, um, Anyway, so check for a broadcast right around 10 after 9. Probably do another live broadcast if I got good signal. We'll, uh, we'll see what kind of shape it's in. So, All right, we'll talk to you all soon. Thanks.